Hello everyone, artist Charles Wolf here, back again for another painting video. Today I thought I would share my technique and the standard way of completing an acrylic painting. After your painting is completely done and you're really happy with it and you feel like you don't want to change anything else, you can get some gloss varnish. I'm using some high gloss varnish here and we're going to apply a thin coat of this varnish across the entire canvas. This is an acrylic painting which has a very matte sort of finish and I want it to look a little bit more like an oil painting which has kind of a gleam and a shine to it. So this gloss varnish is going to give me that effect even though I still have an acrylic which is basically a plastic base underneath. Oil painting of course because it is made out of oil has that that shine and that shimmer and so we're going to capture some of that aesthetic with this varnish. The other benefit to using a gloss varnish like this is that it seals the painting and protects it a little bit from dust and general decay over time. Hopefully it'll keep the colors vibrant and preserved. But they recommend doing about two different coats. So here's the first coat I'm showing you today. I'm going to do the coat. I'm going to then take my hair dryer and dry it off. And then in about 24 hours later, I'm gonna go back and repeat the process. And that should be enough to contain the paintings and seal them and keep it good for the future. Today I'm just showing you again just the last step of really completing a painting, which is adding in the varnish. You can see I'm going for a nice even coverage. I'm using just a cheap one inch chip brush today. Don't need to use a fancy brush for this. Just trying to cover each area on the canvas, get nice even strokes, spread out that varnish. And the container that I'm using today is something I actually just made myself this morning. I went and found a plastic container and I cut it in half, and that is what I'm using to hold the actual varnish itself. It's clear so you all can see that the varnish itself is also clear, of course, so that the color shows through, and it adds a nice effect. They also do offer semi-gloss and matte varnishes as well at the local art supply stores. Uh, I don't want to recommend any one brand, of course. I'm just going to say that I'm using a gallery-style varnish today. You can find something similar, I'm sure, at your local art supply store. I can't imagine that they're all that different, to be honest with you. Okay, here's my hair dryer. I'm gonna blow dry this off. One thing to note is that it makes the darks look a little bit darker, and it will take a little bit of the intensity off of the highlight colors, and it adds just a nice sheen to the overall painting, I think. I recommend that you get a hair dryer for painting. It's really nice, especially if you're using acrylic paint, you can just dry it off really fast and add another layer on top. If you ever make a mistake with a painting, it's no big deal. You can always just blow dry it off and start again painting right over what you already have. I've done that on numerous occasions. So here I am just drying this off, trying to make sure that I don't miss any spots on my canvas. Like I said before, I'm going to wait about 24 hours before I apply the next coat. Even though I am blow drying this off, I think I'll still wait the recommended amount of time. Make sure that it sets in and seals nicely. Looking through my collection of abstract painting videos here on YouTube, I realized I didn't actually record myself when I painted this painting, so I'll have to make sure that I go and do another painting just like it very soon so you can see exactly how I created this piece. But this piece is called Aurora, and I really, really like it. I have a couple paintings that are similar to this. 
and I'll make sure I put a few links down below to those. Not exactly the same as this piece, but similar. I'm glad I picked this painting to varnish today, so you get to see it. Here are a few close-ups, you can see the varnish in action.